Welcome to COVID News, Monday, May the 25th, 2020. President Trump takes a hands-on approach to coronavirus. Donald Trump went golfing this past weekend. He said he was sure that hitting COVID-19 with golf balls would kill it. The results are still out, but it is rumoured that he hit a hole in one. Woman almost wins lottery. Margaret Smith from Dale City, Oklahoma, believed she had won $2.3 million in the lottery when she heard her numbers being called out on TV. Sadly, the numbers were Donald Trump's bank account numbers being read out by his press secretary, Kayleigh McKenney. President Trump, upon hearing of Miss Smith's plight, has given her the role of Secretary of the Lottery. Margaret Smith, when asked how she likes her new role, stated, I love it. I've won the lottery three weeks in a row. Shake up at CNN News. Legal analyst for CNN, Jeffrey Tubin, has not been seen on air for weeks. After being known to sleep on a cot in his CNN office and being on air for days at a time, CNN has offered a reward of $10,000 for his return and promised him a new blanket and all the free coffee he can drink. Dr Sanjay Gupta has been filling the airspace left by Mr Tubin. Dr Gupta has become well known for his video on how to properly wash hands. In addition, unconfirmed reports have stated that he has less public videos showing what he likes to do with his hands when he is not washing them. BBC to stop broadcasting weather reports. In order to keep people self-isolating, the BBC has announced it will stop broadcasting the weather report as of May the 31st. The report will be replaced by a news segment entitled What's Outside Right Now? The segment will show videos of hurricanes, tornadoes, Clips from Father Ted and The Wizard of Oz. In future news, October the 3rd, 2020, the Wimbledon Library has reopened to the public. John Littleton, aged 11, took his favourite book back after having it out for eight months. He was shocked to find his copy of Swallows and Amazons had accumulated fines of £23.14. and pence. He objected and noted that according to its website, the library had suspended all fines while they were closed. The librarian responded, Don't believe everything you read, kid. Management of the library went on to explain that in order for residents of Merton to be more wary of scams and become discerning, they decided to create a hands-on learning experience by reinstating fines. Etiquette to social distancing during COVID-19 pandemic. When walking on the pavement and an elderly person is approaching from the opposite direction, take a photo of the said person from a safe distance, i.e. more than two metres away. Use the full screen on your phone or camera to make an informed evaluation of the situation, i.e. is he or she walking with limited mobility? Is he or she large in stature? You then have the following choices depending on your findings. 1. You could deploy an overhead crane 
to secure a safe lift over the elderly person, ensuring that your lift-off point and landing point are both at least two metres away from him or her. 2. You could walk in the road to pass the person, but do so at least 15 miles an hour to minimise the risk to yourself from any other road users. Ensure the two metre rule at all times and use a government recommended speedometer. 3. Cross the road before coming within two metres of the elderly person, but only if it is safe to do so and you are able to identify a suitable safe area on the opposite pavement. When in a supermarket shopping, use the government supplied two metre measuring device securely tied around your waist in order to maintain a safe distance from others whilst purchasing goods. 2. Whilst following this regulation, ensure that your actions cause no injury to other shoppers. You could, of course, be at risk of committing an offence of common assault or actual bodily harm. Whilst using public transport. 1. Wear a COVID-19 protective onesie together with a Darth Vader style face mask. These are available to purchase from your local authority but are free to any adult under four foot high. Upon returning home, place your protective clothing in a solution of bleach and water for 24 hours before drying. Ensure you remove the onesie and mask beforehand. Reuse can only be made after 48 hours. Whilst out exercising, ensure you are fully visible to other members of the public so that they are able to take appropriate avoidance action in good time to protect their safety. This can be done either by A. Wearing fluorescent high visibility clothing B. Use bright body paint on all exposed body areas or C. Use a government recommended foghorn to alert others to your presence. Only those tested to British standard COVID-19 should be used. Whilst at home, concentrate on COVID-19. Read all available updates. Familiarise yourself with changing regulations. Remember, stay alert. No, she may have missed while self-isolating. A flying saucer has landed at Roswell, New Mexico safely. Six or seven humanoids were seen exiting the spacecraft. The authorities were called to the site. They reported there is nothing to be alarmed about. They are just teenage aliens planet hopping. Apparently, the aliens went into a local bar and were given Budweiser to drink. They took one sip and said, we're out of here, and proceeded to their spaceship and left for Mars. Bigfoot has been captured in Oregon, according to a statement by the director of Mountain Monsters, a highly respected documentary in the USA. Willie, the trap builder, exclaimed, I knew my trap would work one day. He had built a cylindrical box trap with a sliding door that used kinetic energy created by its height above the trap. Rene, a Bigfoot sceptic from Finding Bigfoot, said that she secretly believed in Bigfoot all along. Bigfoot was interviewed when he said, I wanted to be captured. I was tired of self-isolating. That's all the news for today, Monday the 25th of May 2020. We will bring you more news as and when it occurs.